Folks, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to tie two knots that I use to tie most of my crappie fishing rigs uh, with. And they are the improved clinch knot and the loop knot. I'm going to use this locking pin uh, and this uh, bit of packing cable uh, to demonstrate in large scale how I tie those knots. So let's get started. Okay, so we'll demonstrate how to tie the improved clinch knot first. Uh, this locking pin is going to represent our jig or a hook and this packing cable will represent our fishing line. So to tie the improved clinch knot, what we do is we take the um, tag end of our uh, fishing line and we bring it through the eye of our jig or our hook about six inches like this. And then what we want to do is we want to take our tag end and ultimately we want to wrap it around this main line here five to six times. Now I'm only going to do it three times for purposes of our demonstration, but on your fishing line, we want to do that five to six times. Okay. So once you've done that, you'll notice that there is a bottom loop that's created here. We want to take this tag in and bring it through the bottom loop like this. And then when we do that, there is a subsequent top loop that is created. We want to take the tag in and bring it through that loop like this. We want to begin to cinch that, but before we cinch it completely, we want to moisten it. In fact, we may want to, we want to moisten that first before we cinch it so as not to burn the knot. We want to hold the, the, uh, the jig and the, uh, the main line, and we want to cinch that through like so. Okay, I'll demonstrate that again. We have our jig or our hook. I'll tag in main line. We bring it through the eye of our jig or our hook. I'm going to bring that through about six inches like so. We want to take our tag in and we want to bring it around our main line five to six times. And again, for purposes of our demonstration, I'm only going to do that three times. So one, two, three. We're going to take our tag in and bring it through the bottom loop that's created like this. And then we're going to take our tag in and bring it through the subsequent top loop that's, loop that's created like this. We want to moisten our knot. We want to begin and hold our jig uh, or hook and main line, and we want to cinch that down like this. And that is our improved clinch knot. So now let's demonstrate how to tie the loop knot. So the loop knot that I tie is uh, the surgeon's variation of the loop knot called the surgeon's loop knot. And the reason is that because when I'm on the water, and I have to retie very quickly. It's a very easy, very effective, yet very strong knot to tie that allows my jig to hang horizontally, uh, horizontally and very lifelike uh, in the water column. And so the way that we tie that is we take uh, the tag end of our, our main line, bring it through our jig, eye of our jig or our hook, and we bring enough line through so that we can form a loop like this. So from here, to here and we want the loop to be big enough to where we can bring the jig through the loop three to four four to five to five to six times now if we're doing a single jig presentation uh, or rig we want to be able to bring it through five to six times if we're doing a double rig the top jig needs to be three to four times bottom jig five to six times so once we have that brought through want to begin to cinch that down but not completely without moistening it so as not to burn our knot we want to moisten it and then go ahead and cinch that down like this okay i'll demonstrate that again i'm going to take the tag end of our main line bring it through the eye of our jig or our hook and bring it through with enough line to work with so that we can create a loop like this and we want to be able to bring that jig through the loop in a single jig rig configuration three to four times and in a double jig um, configuration five to six times. We want to go ahead and begin to cinch that down, moisten it so as not to burn or singe the knot, and then go ahead and cinch that down completely. Now you'll notice that in this configuration um, that the knot 
is some distance from uh, the eye of the jig of the hook. And it may be your preference that you'd like the knot to be closer to the eye of the jig of the hook to prevent a lot of play of the, the uh, jig uh, in the loop. And I'll show you how to bridge the gap between the knot and the eye of the jig or uh, of the hook. Okay, so to control the size of our loop, uh, during the setup, we go ahead and we get our uh, loop configured for either a single or a double jig. Like so. And then what we do is, is that before we begin cinching uh, the knot down, what we do is we take our middle finger and we bring it to the inner bend of the loop closest to the jig. Middle finger to the inner bend of the uh, inner bend of the loop closest to the jig, and we begin to cinch that very very slowly. And you'll notice that as I'm cinching it, what will become the knot is moving closer to uh, to the jig. And what essentially what's happening is uh, the loop is passing through uh, the index, my index finger um, and, and middle finger, controlling where the uh, controlling the loop and keeping it from moving uh, further up the main line, main part of the line. And so we just we we cinch that down slowly and slowly. The uh, what will become the knot is moving closer and closer to uh, the the jig head, and we cinch that down to we are satisfied with where the loop uh, will actually end up. Once it is to our liking, we remove our middle finger, moisten the knot, and then we cinch it down. And you'll notice now that this knot is a lot closer uh, to, the, um, uh, to the jig head. The loop is smaller uh, than uh, the knot that we tied prior. And so that's how you control the size of, uh, of the loop and control uh, the play that your jig has up uh, within, within the loop. So um, yeah, so this is uh, how I tie uh, the improved clinch knot and the loop knot to uh, knots that I use to tie most of my crappie rigs. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about how I tied these knots, please uh, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And in my next video, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, using these two knots, the improved clinch knot uh, and the loop knot, how I tied the double jig uh, slip float uh, setup. If you're enjoying the content, uh, we would love to have you as a subscriber. We've got much, much more great content to come. Again, thanks so much for watching today. Go out, get a line in the water, enjoy yourself fishing, and we'll see you along the way.